Hey everybody, I'm out here in the woods again, middle of October, and I got something to show you really nice. See all these mushrooms right here? See they have a bit of a scaly cap, a little dark of a center. Stems are whitish, these have a ring. These are called honey mushrooms. And one of the varieties of the honey mushrooms that they are is called the Armillaria malia. Now there's another variety that you can see here. These ones are called Armillaria tabescens. And these will grow off the roots of oaks and the roots of silver maples. Um, the place where I found all these was a friend of my farmer's market that has lots of silver maples in his yard and they were coming up everywhere. Uh, around the trees, in the middle of the yard, kind of even in the, uh, by the borders of the barns and the bushes. But you can see here, there's a bunch of these going all the way down this log. Over here. And in fact, is really kind of an infestation of them around here. Every log that's on the ground has them growing everywhere. In fact, the only other mushroom down here is some of these shelf ones. But you can see everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Now, this kind of mushroom. It's not necessarily a good mushroom for the forest as far as like healthy new trees because it does uh, uh, do parasitic damage. But tell you what, I mean, they're even on the ground, I mean, everywhere. I kind of don't want to step on them either. But you can. You can see what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> I'll be trying to sell some of these. And if I can't sell any, I'll dry them out. Use them for soups and whatnot. Some of these are at kind of different stages too, which is good. And here's another mushroom that's down here. These are called polyporus badius, or blackfoot polypores. There you guys, you can see honey mushrooms everywhere. And as far as locale, I'm in an area of the park where it's close to the river, down the valley, so. It's still pretty cool. It got down to the mid 40s last night. Here you can see them growing up with some of those puffball mushrooms, small ones. Which the puffballs now are past their prime. I'll show you. See if you take one of these. And actually, you know. That one's still good. Some of these, if you see them larger, the lighter in color they get for these pear-shaped ones, the pyroformies. That's when they'll be getting green and yellow on the inside. But they're just growing together. And you can just see honey mushroom after honey mushroom after honey mushroom. I'm gonna be busy. I filled up two shopping bags full of them, probably about a foot deep. Don't really want to pile them up, pile them up any higher because the weight of the ones on top are kind of, kind of, they're going to crush the ones on the bottom. So better to have multiple bags to spread it out. That's going to be a nice workout getting it out of the woods. I'm going to go home and 
weigh it too and see how much I have. And of course, I didn't even put a dent in it. it looks too that still got some fresh ones coming up. So even if I wanted to, I could come back here another couple days and pick another round. But depends on how easily I can get rid of these. I'm what I want to keep for myself.